Hey guys, it's Quinn, and let's talk about the Shadow Systems VR920. This is the full size. Full size that we've all been waiting for. Player of ammunition. Now, if you don't know about Shadow Systems, do a little bit more research, go back to one of my other videos. In those videos I talk about uh, the MR918 and the 920, the backstrap system, magazine well, lowest fitting handgun in the industry and your hand slide serrations and all that stuff so um, this is just real quick i'm going to try to keep this under five minutes hopefully um talking about this fire so what is this dr stands for duty roll this is the full size 17 plus one handgun okay and they are uh really going for the law enforcement uh market and I utilize this for competitive shooting. Right now I have, through this guy, 6,024 rounds. Should be more, should be a lot more, but uh, we had pandemic and a lot of other things going on. I had a couple injuries and my season for competitive shooting uh, was, was really amended. So um, not exactly where I would like to be, but I thought I'd throw out the good and the bad on this guy right here first thing I noticed is when dry firing there is these are dummies there is a ledge right here almost a 90 degree ledge right there in the magazine well and while reloading the rim of the casing would get stuck on that coming in at a certain angle and I would blow my my reloads either in dry fire um, and then sometimes in, in competition so to go ahead and take care of that I just I just filed that down a little bit. As you can see, I put a little bit of a bevel there. Not a not a big deal. Um, told them about it. I don't know what they've done. I'm sure they're, they're working on, on changing that. That's probably kind of a uh, significant deal since you're changing molds and things like that. But we'll see what happens. Uh, next, and these are, these are really small issues. Next, I had this pin would walk out on me during live fire. And, you know, just sitting there, I'd, I'd notice it, and then I'd take the magazine and then push it back in. Um, don't know what the deal is with that. Um, all I did is worked it out. I put it out halfway. I scuffed it up with some sandpaper, pushed it back in, and it hasn't moved since. Uh, next thing, I uh, developed a little bit of a hot spot on my trigger finger. Not a, not a big deal at all. Um, it was caused by this ledge right here. Because you can get so low, get the gun so low in your hand that it would rub a little bit under dry fire, live fire. Um, not a big deal, but like I said, I wanted to mention everything uh, so you guys can make an informed decision on this. Next is the extraction test that I do. Typically, it's with a 1911. Thought I'd try it with this guy. Um, with a Glock, you're going to see those rounds just falling out of the magazine well. Load a mag, or excuse me, load around, take the magazine out, fire. And uh, this one reliably ejected from the ejection port and not out of that magazine. Well. This gun shoots flat. It returns very, very well torch off the round, immediately tracks back if you have a good grip on the gun. So, uh, worked really good there. A little bit, little, little bit of some pre-ignition push. Okay, got it. Understood. No biggie. We figured it out. A lot of people ask, well, how's the trigger? Well, as you ex would expect, again, I am clear of ammunition right there. All right. A little bit of take up, which I like. This is for duty. This is a duty handgun, okay? This is not a competition handgun. This is not, not it's not a race gun or anything like that. This is made for duty. This is made for cops and SWAT dudes. So a little bit of take up, I'm totally cool with. Breaks the shot at about five. Reset. Reset. Ooh. Reset. So that's good. Good reset. Another question that I get quite frequently is, well, 
Looks like it's wearing a lot. Well, let's look at that in context. 6,000 rounds. Little bit of wear on the barrel right there. Not a biggie. I mean, I don't care about that because obviously <laughs> I, that's probably blood. I don't know. Could be mustard. Um, I really don't care about that, but a lot of people are, are, are into that. A lot of people want to see accuracy when it comes to reviews. I don't know. Um, gun shoots better than I do. Most, most, most handguns shoot better than I do. Um, so not a, not a big deal there. I just threw in some plates and, and uh, 15 yards to see, you know, under, under a little bit of speed. Um, it, it's accurate. Biggest advantage to this particular handgun. Uh, it fits so low in your hand and it returns so well that you can really shoot fast and flat. Faster than I've ever shot with a polymer handgun before. I'm typically a turtle though. And I saw a level of speed, uh, a new gear that I've never seen before. This first stage right here, that's the first stage I, I shot with, with the DR920 and it's uh, it's it's so fast it could kind of get you in trouble a little bit. It's like uh, when a celebrity buys a new Ferrari and then they wreck it. Kind of what it was like. Um, here's some other stages. On this stage right here, I did have a malfunction and I was able to find the round later, and the primer was hit, and it was an ammunition issue. Not the firearms issue, and I wanted to be full disclosure on any kind of malfunctions that I had. Um, 6,024 rounds, no malfunctions yet. All right, so what do I think? I showed you all the bad stuff. Uh, magazine well could be beveled. Pin walked out, roughed it up with sandpaper, pushed it back in. It's fine since. I had a malfunction caused by ammunition. And I had a callus. <laughs> a little bit of callus. But I shot 6,000 rounds, over 6,000 rounds, and uh, dry fire four to six times a week. 45 minutes to an hour a time. Okay, you're, you're gonna get a callus. Um, this is meant for law enforcement. It's full size 17 plus one. It'll fit in the same holster as a Glock 17. I have the lowest optics cut in the industry. Comes from the factory with a night sight up front, blank rears, which is, in my opinion, which is the way it should be. Got the serrations if I need to run it with gloves. Magazine well if I want it. Double undercut trigger guard, aggressive beaver tail so I can get the gun deeper in my hand. And then we have the, the back strap system. So this is an accurate firearm. It's fast, it shoots flat, and you get everything that you wanna change anyway, but it's coming from the factory with all of this stuff. So, there you go. That's the Shadow Systems DR920. Thank you for watching, and as always, God bless America.